Merry Christmas. Louis C. the Mayor checking in. What is going on, my people? Listen, it's all love right now throughout the whole Keys, Key West, Stock Island, Big Copper, Big Pine, Summerlin, Sugarloaf, Marathon, Key Largo, Plantation. It's all love right now. So listen, we're coming in from an undisclosed location. I can't tell you if we, uh, we tell you we got to kill you, but this is an official uh, VIP rabbit room. We're going to get into that in a little bit. You ain't never seen this on no MTV Cribs, none of this. This is very special what's going on. Come on in right now, share the video, hit the notification button right over here. Boop! Those of y'all watching worldwide on the YouTube channel, there's a little box right over here. All you got to do is hit that box and subscribe. Boop! And we're going to keep it blood raw today. Shout out to Florida Keys Energy Lawyers, Accident Lawyers in the Keys. If you have an accident in a bicycle, moped, car, God forbid, on that ocean, all you got to do is go FloridaKeysEnergy.com. Locals taking care of locals after 911, FloridaKeysEnergy.com. Advanced Urgent Care, look, look what I got out here, boy. It's big, it's big over here. You see that? Advanced Urgent Care, Key West Marathon and Key Largo. They don't test and wait over there. That weight's out the window. They test and treat. As soon as uh, some uh, pull up on the pandemic, they're going to take care of you right away. They're not going to wait on nothing and get you right back to where you need to go safe and sound. Uh, ivermectin, one word. If you don't know about it, you better look it up. It's real serious, saving lives. And my girl Rebecca doing it big out there. I done told you all about that smoking. Uh, smoking uh, says on the box, if you smoke cigarettes, it's uh, dangerous to your health. and could cause cancer to avoid that. Go to Naughty Vape. So you got the vaping over there right across the street from the fire department. Huge inventory just came in for the holidays. And make sure you like them on their Facebook page under Naughty Vapes. They're always taking care of the military and locals. So let me see what we got. Uh, DOS, I apologize. It's been so hectic. We on at 9 o'clock tonight. You know, uh, Louis C. loved the kids. Trick Daddy loved the kids. We all love the kids. So they're doing the, the Santa uh, thing with our rude girl, making sure they... Uh, they track Santa, the Santa tracker, and we're going to find out what uh, Santa's doing. And uh, a pandemic ain't stopping, uh, stopping nothing. We still going to do it big for Christmas. All love right now. Susie, what is going on? Slick Vic in the building. Let me see. We got Kenneth Alonzo. Can I get a report? How you doing, sir? How you feeling? Merry Christmas to everybody. So come on in the podcast. Hit the uh, share button there and share the video. And we got a couple things we're going to talk about. It is getting real crazy down there. Uh, in the city. I just seen uh, Patrick Major just pull up uh, watching on the show All Love out there in number VIP Love. So uh, let me tell y'all what's really going on. In case you tune in for the first time, my name is Louis C. Rock. Been in the entertainment business for over 20 years, straight out of Key West, Florida. And we do a podcast Monday to Friday at 6.45 and we keep it blood raw on here. Any kinds of uh, questions or comments you guys got, just let me know and we're going to make sure we're going to take care of you. So everybody in um, in Key West just chilling today. So like I said, I'm in a remote location and I can't really tell you uh, where I'm at. But in case you see a rabbit pull up, a rabbit might pull up right here on this table. Don't get scared. It's all love. Uh, Kenneth Alonzo moved out of the ICU but still in the hospital. Tell the doctor, listen, all this this serious bit. Ivermectin. Ask him about ivermectin because ivermectin will do wonders. Ask him if he knows anything about that. And what is the opinion of you taking that, Kenneth? Because, you know, you a fellow comp. We had over 300,000 people die this year. We don't want to see anybody else die. But the good news is we're getting out of it. 2021 is going to be all love. So let me see. Uh, right now, I need a roll call. What city you in? What's the temperature? And where are you watching the podcast from? Share the video. And we're going to get into a little bit of what was really happening. Uh, I pulled up to the airport today. Shout out to McKenzie at Avis and Budget. And I'm going to tell you all right now. On SWO, I mean, there was a lot of people coming through there on the airport this evening. It was really crowded, but don't be surprised because this is tour season. On the 26th, you're going to see quadruple uh, people coming in to Key West. And on the 31st, uh, due to contrary belief, thousands with, with two S's, not one, thousands of people are going to be on Duval Street. We're still trying to work it out. I don't see a, a curfew flying at all. At 10 o'clock, 10, 11, 10, 12, 11, uh, midnight, 1, 10, I just don't see it. So hopefully we'll get all this thing squared away before it happened. But uh, right now, all bad news across the board. And also, uh, like I said, I don't believe in curfews. I think uh, curfews actually push people 
to uh, spread the events of the COVID because they push people in indoor spaces. Like, for example, Stock Island, four minutes away, is wide open. They're having a sandal drop, I heard, down there. There's going to be thousands of people in Stock Island, and I invite people to come to Stock Island. They got to get over the bridge, so what they're going to do then? So this is all bad news. The worst idea in the history of living by a mayor. Any mayor uh, worldwide and the planet is above beyond. This is horrific. I, I don't know what will be going to the, through the mayor's head. This is a bad idea. And I hope somebody has some courage like Commissioner Warland say, you know what, this is just not going to work. Because they pushed the curfew to deter people. Uh, that deterring uh, did not work. Now thousands of people are coming. And what happened is when they first uh, had the curfew, the, the hotel occupancy went lower and some people, you know, canceled. But now all the rooms are back full and the rates went lower. So now we got thousands with, with the trip west coming straight out of Miami, Broward County, West Palm Beach. You know, them people ain't just carrying Gatorade. Them people ready to turn up. I done told you, I don't even think the mayor know what turn up mean. They coming to turn up. People had a rough year. Some people going to think, hey, you, you got to vacate the street and go home. They going to think it's an April Fool's joke. This ain't no joke. This is real. So hopefully the, the lawsuits that are in court right now will prevail. Broward County overturned the curfew and, uh, uh, Rod DeSantis is very hot with what's going on down here, and we're we trying to uh, see what we can do. So we'll see what happens. Also, uh, I'd like to talk about customer service. You know, you guys, uh, if you want to stay local, then do mediocre, uh, do do uh, be be uh, be average on customer service. You, you'll stay local. You, you won't go past the, the Kalki Bridge. But you got to think big and go above and beyond. You got to try to take care of customers. Uh, today I had an experience. I ain't going to go into all details. Uh, customer uh, service failed completely. So, you know, I, I, I don't know uh, if you dealing with the public, you have to work with people. And you People that go above and beyond, uh, that's who go to the next level. So just do, do the best you can. And if you ain't going to be serious about something, just don't do it. Uh, give me some shout outs here. Let me see. I got Lisa checking in. Let me see who I got. Oh, I got the Green Parrot. Green Parrot said they turn it up. Um, David Lee Jones, Washington, North Carolina, 70 degrees. Okay. That's all love. There's Susie checking in. The great Kenneth, Willie Gonzalez. Willie, uh, y'all got a curfew a marathon? Uh, Mayor Gonzalez got a curfew. Y'all riding strong out there in Do uh, Dolphin County. Can you give me some clarification there? Uh, Lisa, thank you for checking in. Let me see what we got on this side. Cause I got a whole different screen. I ain't got no 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 Mike knows nobody just me today doing it big so let me see okay all love share share the video right now so we can get some more people in here let me see what else is going on. oh tomorrow we pull up with uh C O Piscopo with the Trina Camp so we might uh, have him on the video tomorrow we'll talk about the entertainment business uh, some people think entertainment you know you see these people on TV and they just got their um. Two days ago, these people been at this a long time trying to get where they get. It's very, very hard to make it in the entertainment business. If you ain't ready to work 17 hours and pay dues, overnight success, uh, you ain't never going to be Elvis Presley. That's why there's only one Elvis Presley. It's hard to be Elvis Presley. And the tourism. Tourism is wide open like a salt shaker. Thousands of people are going to be coming down here. Uh, a lot of people are complying with the mass ordinance, safe uh, distance. A social distance, every everything is looking good, but I just don't want to stir the pot with people getting down here. These police um, uh, compensation should be tripled. They, they shouldn't ask for double. It should be triple. Code enforcement, they check should be tripled with the nonsense they've been having put in. I mean, you're just setting up for failure when you out, go out there with, you know, out, out man and asking people that already had a rough year to be out there and, and basically complying with it. They don't know anything about it. The TDC, for example, is promoting Key West. CNN News. Uh, CNN is going to cover the shoe drop because due to contrary believe the shoe drop is still happening. Not on Duval Street, but in a private premise. So CNN will be down here. So if anything gets crazy, you'll see us on CNN. So all love right now. Let me see. James. JJ, my man. Merry Christmas, Louis. Merry Christmas to everybody. We've been through a hard year and it's just... Uh, been very rough, so that's why I was hoping that people could just go about their business, celebrate their New Year's, and then just basically have a good time. Now, Miami, I, I don't understand how Miami's a hot spot, and their curfew is at 1 o'clock. We ain't never been hot. Our curfew is at uh, 10 o'clock on a major street like Duval Street. I mean, this is a very bad plan, so we'll see what happens. 
Brandon Bravo, thank you for checking in. Anybody else got anything uh, going today, go ahead and come on the live. So it's been a lovely day. I'm en route to the MIA. And, you know, in the MIA, I'm going to give you all a couple of tips. Number one, never, ever, under no, no, no circumstances, pump gas at night. When the sun go down, never go to a gas station in Miami. Number two, if your bank account at ten grand, a thousand, eighty dollars, and you put it in one of the machines at the gas station, you might have a negative a hundred. They don't play around, boy. There's fraud going on, top to bottom. Never ever leave the car unlocked when you pump gas. Even on the passenger side, they do the creep. They creep still your whole your whole purse just like that. Never under no circumstances go to an ATM uh, at nighttime. I, I had a a gentleman, a homeless gentleman, to pull up straight at me at the ATM. I thought I was going to get robbed. So it's just serious out there. This little hee 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 and stuff we got going on in Key West where you can just chill. In Miami, you got to get to your destination. I know y'all like to make love on the phone with your significant others and all that. When you get to a place and you start texting and stay in your car, your chances go on, go up 40% and you can get jacked. So be, be careful out there, man. It's a serious situation. And then when you come back to Monroe County, you can relax a little bit. Shout out to the number one sheriff in the world, Rick Ramsey. That man's serious. Uh, I suggest the mayor call Rick Ramsey and talk to him about uh, the curfew um, in uh, in Key West because uh, Sheriff Ramsey is very qualified to let people know, you know, what's going on. I think she, you might have a difference in opinion, but, you know, when somebody's hard-headed, there's nothing you can tell them, you know. Uh, furthermore, Businesses have consulted with their legal teams, and they say they, they this this is um, this this is this curfew that the city has put uh, put forth is not uh, within the rights of them to put it forward uh, based on the decision that's made through the state. So they saying they told them to remain open. So this is just the perfect storm. All bad news going uh, across the board. Great advice. All have to be cautious around your surroundings. Hey, listen, let me tell you something. I've seen a lot of stuff go down. In Miami, and in Miami, uh, you know, some of y'all little wanna be gangsters down in, in the Florida Keys. You you turn up and you're talking gangster. This is why we get in trouble with our youth down here. So what happens is when these kids from Miami come, when they you talking to them playing gangster, they take it serious, like like you really on their level, but uh, you are not. So this is why you know people get in trouble and get killed. So we don't need anybody killed. We just need everybody to have a good time, be with your families, and if you don't want to go anywhere. At all, that's fine, but to walk a dog past 250 feet in Key West and have the dog taken from you from the dog pound and you taking it to jail, the mayor's out of her mind. Just crazy stuff. So I don't know. Uh, mayor, uh, call the mayor and tell him, man, that, that she, I'll call the mayor, call 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 uh, Commissioner Lopez, call Commissioner Davila, call everybody out there on that dice, call Sam Kaufman, uh, call the city manager, call the city clerk and tell him, man, this curfew ain't going to work. So all love. Thank you all. Florida Keys Injury Lawyers, Accident Lawyers in the Keys. Go to FloridaKeysInjury.com. Locals taking care of locals. 302 Southern Street. Dr. B, Merry Christmas, Bubba. Hope you have a good time. You in Miami, too. You got to be loaded up in Miami. Advanced Urgent Care, Key West Marathon, and Key Largo. Look at it right here. Pretty. See that? All love right there. All love right there. Thank you. Three locations, Key West Marathon and Key Largo. Make sure you check out that Avamectin pro, uh, protocol and the keyscares.com for only $89. Naughty Vapes, the number one vape shop in Key West, right across the street from the fire department. Always taking care of locals and military. Huge inventory shipment just came in for the holidays. Make sure you like their Facebook page under Naughty Vapes. So let me see what we got going on here. So we, we can't tell you too much. So I'm going to switch the camera up right here. We're going to all love right now. It's all love, right? So, so this, this is for rabbits. Y'all thought I was playing about these rabbits, right? This ain't bunny rabbit, you know, from uh, 8 Mile. This is real rabbits now. So see? See that? Come in now. It's all legitimate now. You don't take this for nothing else. It's rabbit business right now. Marlene, my sister checking in. 27 out, 305 Day County. So see how we got it going on here? Look, they got the names of the rabbits over here. So that you don't see this on MTV Cribs. Uh, you ain't seen this on, on ABC, uh, $10 million house. This is a special situation. Unfortunately, if we tell you, we got to kill you, so we can't let you know where we're at right now. So that's basically it for the program, All Love. Make sure you stay out of trouble. And damn what they talk about. If you feel like going downtown, go ahead and have fun. Don't, don't break the law. But please, for the sake of uh, God, 
have a, uh, look for another another solution to try to move 10,000 people off the street at one time. It's not going to happen. Who is Michael Knowles? Just checked in. All love. We see you when we see you. And I'm going to go ahead and just play with these rabbits and go about my business.